my name is Aiden Bubbles. I am a scout for Phillips Crop Care. I've been working here for three years. And today what we're talking about is root digs. So this past week and still going on, we've been doing root digs to check the root health of our fields and for our plants. And right here what we have is we have a root that has some tomahawk and present. Because right here you can see there's not much root development right here. So the roots, when they grew out, they had to grow over that sidewall. But this side was growing um, just through the ground because there was no sidewall compaction on this side. So what this does is just delays the um, amount of nutrients that the plants can take up, makes them put more energy into getting those nutrients. And what we do with these roots then when we inspect them is that we get the planting depth at that time when it was planted for this plant uh, because the seed kernels are usually still present or they have a cook in the root. And you can just measure that from the surface of the plant and you can get the planting depth. And then also for rootworm damage, what they'll do is uh, some of their biting will just scar up the plants. So you'll get little like brown marks present on the roots of these plants. Also with one of the ones over here, what we have is bottle brushing where basically the rootworms will chew off part of the root and the reaction of the plant is just to send out more roots shooting off that. And what happens is just bottle brushing right here. I mean, this one never got to uh, full of cutting on and started being fibrous. This root looks pretty good, but it has sidewall compaction present on this side once again. This just limits the amount of uptake you're going to have. And this is one of our roots that is pretty well. It's nice and fibrous, and it was able to get down pretty far to get the nutrients down the ground. And that's what we look for in our root digs.